Okay, so this is the, the device I've been working on lately. Unfortunately, this time around, I wasn't able to uh, um, shoot video on the step-by-step -step, um, DIY that I did for it. Uh, but uh, I will go through how it works. Um, it's essentially a device that will stop a lawnmower when a uh, metal object tool um, is uh, detected. Uh, essentially how it works is I have a um, 12 volt supply here which goes to a PNP inductive sensor so it's a sensor that's essentially going to detect any sort of metal object um, it's a PNP sensor so what that means is it's gonna it's gonna have uh, three wires um, one's an input which is 12 volts uh, one's a ground okay it's pretty self-explanatory and the other is the output I've got the output hooked to a 12 volt relay. So essentially, when a metal object is present, like as we just saw, the, out, the sensor is going to put the 12 volts onto the output wire. From there, I've hooked the output wire to the coil on the relay, and I've grounded out the other side of the coil obviously so when it's hooked to so when the sensor triggers it's going to send 12 volts to the coil of the relay from there I've hooked I've gotten one wire that comes from the ignition coil the primary primary winding of the ignition coil to the normally open contact of the 12 volt relay and the second wire here, it just goes to uh, a ground on the chassis of the lawnmower. So it could be um, any ground. It doesn't have to be the one I chose, which is all the way inside here. Um, so essentially, when this is when when a metal object is detected by the sensor, it triggers the relay, which essentially gra grounds out the ignition coil, which stops the lawnmower. So it stops the spark. Um, what I had to do was to get to to where the um, primary winding is. I had to uh, kind of take apart the lawnmower a little bit, take off the cover, take out the fuel tank, and then there's a wire that goes around the flywheel. Um, the wire essentially is coming from the the tab of the primary winding of the ignition coil. It's essentially what um, was used in the kill switch. That's how the lawnmower is turned off regularly so if you listen carefully you can actually hear the relay click and that's actually grinding out grounding out the primary winding of the ignition coil so I'll just put this uh, tool down here you'll see the light come on and you can hear a, a click and it's fairly responsive and uh, works quite well but uh, let me know what you guys think about this project and how I can improve it. I've thought about possibly um, uh, hooking up uh, 12 volt LEDs and putting a red LEDs around here to serve as a as a as a warning as well as a visible warning. Um, if uh, anybody knows about any sort of uh, sensors I could sensors I could use with a better range, um, maybe I could use multiple sensors. Um, I've also thought about. Uh, using um, infrared sensor with the Arduino for this project, but uh, I kept it fairly basic um, So it could be easily be easily doable and uh, Yeah, let's do a demonstration That's how it works in a nutshell. For more DIY and tinkering videos, subscribe to my channel. If you like this one, hit the thumbs up icon.